The purpose of this video is to demonstrate techniques for media preparation when using a gelling agent. While there are many different ways to prepare media, this video will discuss recommendations on preparing media from a dry powder formulation. This video will discuss methods for adjusting the pH of the media and different techniques for sterilizing the media. This video will also assume that you have an autoclave or pressure cooker for sterilizing the media. We recommend that you write down each product and product lot number that's used when preparing media. A sample media log preparation form can be found on our website at www.phytotechlab.com. Weigh out the desired amount of medium that is going to be prepared. Using a pre-formulated dry powder medium will reduce the number of components to be weighed and reduce the possibility of error. Phytotechnology Laboratories offers over 100 different formulations of plant tissue culture and microbiological media. Always use either a weigh boat or weighing paper when weighing out chemicals to protect your balance. Repeat the procedure with all other dry chemical items that are going to be included in the medium. This includes carbohydrates, gelling agents, or other components. Measure out 80% of the final volume of water that is required for the batch of media that is being prepared. Be sure to use tissue culture grade water or product number W783 if you do not have access to tissue culture grade water. Add the water to a container that can hold at least one and a half times the batch size of the medium being made. Add a stir bar to the container and begin slowly stirring the water. Slowly begin adding the dry components to the medium being made. Stir each component of the medium until dissolved. Add any heat stable liquid components such as vitamins or plant growth regulators at this time. Using prepared stock solutions helps save time and cuts down on errors when preparing media. Phytotechnology Laboratories offers stock solutions of most plant growth regulators and vitamin stocks. Most vitamin stocks are added at 1 mL per liter of medium prepared. Most plant growth regulator stocks are added at 1 mL per liter to achieve a final concentration of 1 mg per liter of medium. Always check the product label to determine the proper concentrations. If a gelling agent such as auger or gel and gum is used, you should add the components at this time. These compounds will not completely dissolve until heated. An alternative technique is to dissolve and heat the gelling agent in the 20% of tissue culture grade water that has yet to be added to your batch production container. This solution can be heated until the gelling agent is completely dissolved on a hot plate, microwave, or in the autoclave. Be sure to use autoclave gloves or other protection when removing hot liquids from the microwave. Add the additional tissue culture grade water to bring the medium to the final volume. While stirring, adjust the medium to the desired pH using sodium hydroxide, potassium hydroxide, or hydrochloric acid. It is important to always adjust the pH of your medium after all components, including gelling agents, have been added. If you are using autoclavable culture vessels such as glass jars, phytocons, or magenta boxes, dispense the medium into the culture vessels prior to autoclaving. The culture medium will need to be sterilized to kill any contaminants in the medium. This is done using either an autoclave or pressure cooker. Sterilize the medium at 1 kilogram per centimeter squared or 15 psi which is 121 degrees C for at least 15 minutes. For larger culture vessels, you may need to increase the time for sterilization. Allow the medium to cool prior to use. This will usually take 30 minutes to 2 hours to completely cool and for the gelling agent to properly solidify. You can also use powdered food color to color code your medium for easy identification. Red, green, blue, and yellow colors are sold individually or as a sample package under product M5856. So to recap, number one, measure out all the dry components required. Using a pre-formulated dry powder medium will reduce the number of components to be weighed and reduce the possibility of error. Number two, always record your product number, lot numbers, and weights on a medium log form. Number three, Measure out 80% of the final volume of water to be used. Number four, add the dry components to the medium and stir until dissolved. Number five, add any liquid stock solutions such as vitamins or plant growth regulators. 
Number six, slowly add the gelling agent with rapid stirring to obtain a uniform suspension. Number seven, adjust your pH. Number eight, dispense into final culture vessels. Number nine, sterilize the medium in an autoclave or pressure cooker. Number 10, allow the medium to cool for up to two hours or until the gelling agent is completely solidified prior to use. Following these simple techniques should make your medium preparation process a success.